So let's have a quick look back, shall we, at the final race of the weekend here at the Slovakia Ring. A pretty historic weekend in the championship as well. The first time that a driver has done back-to-back -back Grand Slams, but also, I think, the first weekend where both categories were taken by Grand Slams as well, especially on the road. Jose Eduardo Rodriguez taking all pole positions and all race victories. The same for Norbert Kish in the Titan category. It was all nerve-wracking stuff as Mark Taylor started on pole position with Steffi Halm along side. Andre Kurzim had a bit of a rough start, unfortunately getting elbowed out in the opening stages. Stefan Fass would not complete the first lap though and would drop off due to the engine issues that he's had all weekend. Norby got to work though and put on one hell of a show, making his way through the pack, while Mark Taylor defended brilliantly at the front end of the order. Eventually, though, Steffi Halm tried to move down the inside, and once Norby had gone through, everyone wanted a piece of the action, and there was unfortunately contact between her and Jose Eduardo Rodriguez and Mark Taylor as well, which took them a little bit further down out of contention. Jose Eduardo, the one that was coming off least unscathed. There was a lot of avoidance from behind as well, and hats off to the drivers that got involved in all of that. Sasha Lenz and Antonio Albacetti in particular had to do a lot of hard work not to crash into the other trucks coming back on track, and it was all hard but fair racing, I reckon, here at the Slovakia Ring. Great entertainment, but epic stuff once again from Norbert Kish and Rivesh Racing. Nobody can seemingly stop them at the moment this season, and they will head to Zolder in Belgium in a couple of weeks' time with massive confidence behind them and hoping to take another Grand Slam.